Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into some groundbreaking news that's going to significantly impact Canadian seniors. As of July 1, 2024, major changes are coming to retirement benefits in Canada. We're talking about substantial increases to the Canada Pension Plan CPP and additional relief checks that could put more money in the pockets of those 65 and older. In this comprehensive video, we'll break down everything you need to know about these new benefits, We'll cover the details of the CPP increase, the one-time relief checks, eligibility requirements, and how these changes might affect your overall financial picture. We'll also discuss the reasoning behind these updates, how they fit into the broader context of Canada's retirement system, and what steps you might need to take to ensure you receive all the benefits you're entitled to. But that's not all. We'll also be looking at how these changes compare to previous years, what they mean for the future of retirement in Canada, and how you can make the most of these additional funds. Whether you're a retiree yourself, approaching retirement age, or helping to manage the finances of an elderly relative, this information is crucial for navigating the evolving landscape of Canadian retirement benefits. So grab a pen and paper, because you'll want to take notes. Let's dive into the details of these exciting new developments and what they mean for Canadian seniors. Our channel provides the latest updates on the Canada Pension Plan CPP, and many other important news items that will positively impact your life in the coming days. These updates are designed to help improve your financial health. Stay connected with our channel for breaking news that has previously benefited many seniors. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and watch this video in full to make your life easier. Our mission is to bring smiles and peace to the faces of our country's seniors, and we are committed to this effort. Let's start with the big news about the Canada Pension Plan. Starting July 1, 2024, eligible seniors will see a significant boost to their CPP payments. We're talking about an additional $1,560 added to your monthly CPP benefits. That breaks down to an extra $130 per month. This isn't just a random act of generosity from the government. This increase is part of a broader strategy to ensure that Canadian seniors can maintain a decent standard of living in retirement, especially in the face of rising costs and economic challenges. To put this into perspective, if you're currently receiving the maximum CPP benefit, which as of 2024 is about $1,300 per month, this increase will bump your monthly payment up to around $1,430. That's a substantial rise of about 10%. For those receiving less than the maximum, you'll still see a proportional increase based on your contributions to the CPP during your working years. What does this extra $130 a month actually mean for seniors? Well, it could cover a week's worth of groceries for a single person, most of a monthly utility bill, a significant portion of prescription medication costs, or several tanks of gas for your car. While $130 might not sound like a lot to some, for many seniors living on fixed incomes, this increase can make a real difference in their day-to-day -day lives. It's important to note that this increase is not a one-time thing. Once implemented, it becomes a permanent part of your CPP benefits, meaning you'll continue to receive this higher amount for the rest of your life. And remember, CPP benefits are indexed to inflation, so this new, higher amount will continue to grow over time to help keep pace with the rising cost of living. Now, some of you might be wondering how this increase is being funded. It's a valid question, and it's important to understand that the CPPP is designed to be self-sustaining. This increase is made possible by the strong performance of CPP investments over the past few years, as well as adjustments to contribution rates for current workers. The goal is to ensure that the CPP remains stable and able to provide for retirees both now and in the future. One thing to keep in mind is that this increase to the CPP is separate from any changes to old age security OAs or the Guaranteed Income Supplement GIs. Those programs have their own adjustment schedules and criteria. We'll touch on how these various benefits interact a bit later in the video. Lastly, it's crucial to understand that while this increase is significant, it doesn't mean you should neglect other aspects of your retirement planning. The CPP is designed to replace only a portion of your pre-retirement income, typically around 25% for most people. It's still important to have other sources of retirement income, such as personal savings, RSPs, and possibly workplace pensions to ensure a comfortable retirement. Now let's talk about the second major piece of news, the $650 relief checks for seniors age 65 and over. This is a one-time payment designed to provide additional support to Canadian seniors during these economically challenging times. This is a direct payment from the government to eligible seniors, separate from regular CPP, OAs, or GIs payments. 
It's intended to help offset some of the financial pressures that many seniors are facing due to factors like inflation, rising healthcare costs, and the lingering economic impacts of global events. The amount of $650 was likely chosen as a balance between providing meaningful assistance and maintaining fiscal responsibility. For many seniors, $650 could cover a month's rent or mortgage payment in some areas, several months of utility bills, a significant portion of annual out-of-pocket healthcare expenses, a new essential appliance like a refrigerator or washing machine, or several months of nutritious meal deliveries for those with mobility issues. It's important to note that this $650 is a tax-free amount. You won't need to claim it as income on your tax return, which means the full amount is yours to use as needed. To be eligible for this relief check, you need to meet the following criteria be 65 years of age or older, as of July 1, 2024, be a resident of Canada, and have filed your taxes for the previous year. It's worth noting that this payment is not means-tested. In other words, it doesn't depend on your income level or assets. Whether you're a senior living on a modest fixed income or someone with substantial retirement savings, you're eligible for this payment as long as you meet the age and residency requirements. For the majority of eligible seniors, you won't need to apply for this relief check. If you're already receiving CPP, OAS, or GS benefits, the government has your information on file and will automatically issue the payment to you. You should receive it the same way you receive your regular benefits, whether that's by direct deposit or by check in the mail. However, there may be some cases where you'll need to take action. This includes if you've recently turned 65 and haven't yet applied for any government benefits, but if you've moved or changed your banking information recently, or if you're a senior who hasn't been required to file taxes in recent years due to low income. In these cases, it's a good idea to contact Service Canada or check the official government website for instructions on how to ensure you receive your payment. As of now, this is announced as a one-time payment, but it's always possible that similar measures could be implemented in the future if economic conditions warrant it. It's important to remember that while this $650 check is certainly welcome, it's not a replacement for sound financial planning. It's best viewed as a helpful boost to help manage current expenses or to add to your emergency fund. Now that we've covered the specifics of both the CPP increase and the relief checks, let's zoom out and look at the bigger picture. What do these changes really mean for Canadian seniors and for the future of retirement in Canada? First and foremost, these updates represent a significant acknowledgement from the government that many seniors are struggling with the rising cost of living. The combination of the $1,560 annual increase in CPP benefits and the one-time $650 relief check means an extra $2,210 in the pockets of eligible seniors this year. That's not an insignificant amount, especially for those living on fixed incomes. For many seniors, this extra money could be the difference between just scraping by and having a bit of breathing room in their budget. It might mean being able to afford better quality food, necessary home repairs, or health-related expenses that were previously out of reach. Some seniors who have been forced to rely on credit cards or lines of credit to cover basic expenses might find relief in this influx of cash, potentially improving their overall financial health. For seniors who are managing okay on their current income, this extra money provides an opportunity to boost emergency savings or even make small investments for the future. Beyond just covering necessities, this additional income might allow some seniors to engage more in social activities, pursue hobbies, or travel to visit family, all of which can significantly improve quality of life and mental health. It's also important to consider the broader economic impact. When seniors have more money to spend, it doesn't just benefit them individually that money flows back into the economy through increased consumer spending, which can have positive ripple effects throughout communities. However, it's crucial to maintain perspective. While these changes are certainly positive, they don't solve all the financial challenges faced by Canadian seniors. The impact of these increases will vary depending on where you live. In expensive cities like Vancouver or Toronto, the extra money might not go as far as it would in smaller towns or rural areas. The significance of these increases will also depend greatly on individual circumstances. For some, it will be a game changer. For others, it might be helpful but not transformative. There are also ongoing concerns about inflation and whether increases will keep pace with the real world rise in living costs, especially in areas like housing and healthcare. One of the biggest financial challenges for many seniors is the cost of long term care. While these increases are helpful, they don't directly address this growing concern. 
Looking to the future, these changes might signal a shift in how the government approaches retirement security. We might see more frequent adjustments to retirement benefits to address economic challenges, or this could pave the way for more comprehensive reforms to the retirement system. It's also worth noting that these changes come in the context of shifting demographics in Canada. With an aging population, issues affecting seniors are likely to remain at the forefront of political and economic discussions for years to come. For those of you who are not yet seniors, these changes underscore the importance of understanding and planning for your own retirement. While it's reassuring to see the government taking steps to support retirees, it's still crucial to take control of your own retirement planning. This might include maximizing your CPP contributions during your working years, taking full advantage of RSPs and TFCAs, considering additional private pension plans or investments, planning for potential health care and long-term care costs, and staying informed about changes to retirement benefits. For current seniors, while these increases are automatic, it's still a good idea to review your overall financial picture. This might be a good time to meet with a financial advisor to discuss how to best utilize this additional income based on your individual circumstances and goals. Now that we've covered the what, why, and potential impact of these changes, let's talk about some practical steps you can take to ensure you're making the most of these new benefits. First and foremost, make sure you're eligible for these benefits. For the CPP increase, you need to be receiving CPP retirement benefits. For the relief check, you need to be 65 or older, a resident of Canada, and have filed your taxes for the previous year. If you're unsure about your eligibility, contact Service Canada or check the official government website. Ensure that the government has your current contact and banking information. If you've moved recently or changed banks, update your information with Service Canada as soon as possible to avoid any delays in receiving your benefits. Once July 1, 2024 rolls around, keep an eye on your bank account or mail for the increased CPP payment and the relief check. If you don't see the increase or receive the check by mid-August, contact Service Canada. With this additional income, it's a good time to review and possibly adjust your budget. Consider allocating the extra funds to areas where you've been struggling financially, putting some or all of the additional money into savings or investments, using the funds to pay down any high-interest debt, or setting aside some money for home repairs or medical expenses you've been putting off. While the $650 relief check is tax-free, the increased CPP benefits will be taxable income. It might be worth consulting with a tax professional to understand how this could impact your overall tax situation and whether you need to adjust your tax planning strategy. Use this as an opportunity to review your overall financial plan. Are you on track with your retirement goals? Do you need to make any adjustments? This might be a good time to meet with a financial advisor to ensure your plan is still aligned with your needs and goals. Keep yourself updated on any future changes to retirement benefits, subscribe to government newsletters, follow reputable financial news sources, and of course stay tuned to this channel for ongoing updates and analysis. Make sure you're taking advantage of all the benefits available to you. This includes federal programs like OAAs and GIs, as well as any provincial or territorial benefits you might be eligible for. Consider setting aside some of this additional income for future healthcare needs. This could include saving for potential long-term care costs or setting up a health spending account for out-of-pocket medical expenses. If you don't already have an emergency fund, consider using some of this extra money to start one or boost your existing fund. Financial experts often recommend having three to six months of living expenses saved for unexpected costs or emergencies. These changes to CPP and the additional relief check represent a significant boost for Canadian seniors. While they won't solve every financial challenge, they do provide some much-needed support in the face of rising living costs. Remember, personal financial situations vary widely, so it's always a good idea to consult with a financial advisor to understand how these changes will impact your specific circumstances. They can help you develop a strategy to make the most of these additional funds while keeping your long-term financial goals in mind. As we wrap up, I want to remind you that staying informed is key. Retirement benefits and policies can change, so make sure you're always up to date with the latest information. Subscribe to our channel for regular updates on Canadian retirement news and financial planning tips. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with any seniors or soon-to-be retirees in your life who might benefit from this information. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay informed about future updates and financial planning advice. Thank you for watching and here's to a more financially secure future for all Canadian seniors.